We uh, finished the mid-upper turret installation uh, probably earlier this summer anyway, and uh, uh, of course our next focus was going to be on the tail turret because we didn't have a tail turret for the aircraft either. We had some parts of it, but we didn't have all of it. So we decided to take it apart, take it off the airplane, take it apart and have a, do a good assessment of it. And, and we decided that we could rebuild it in a much better, uh, stronger fashion. The old pieces used to be made of plywood. So we knew that we had to make something stronger so that if uh, you know, the vandal factors showed up again, that we'd be able to keep the turret from coming apart. We had a few engineering challenges uh, with uh, restoring the turret, or trying to restore the turret, I guess you should say. Uh, a lot of the large casting pieces that are on the inside of the turret, they're simply not easily made. Uh, so we did a bit of a bartering system with one of the other museums where we traded some blown bubbles for their turrets uh, in exchange for some of the larger castings on the inside of, the, of ours. Uh, one of the pieces that we are missing, however, was the uh, bearing assembly that helps the, the guns rotate up and down when the, uh, when the gunner wants to raise or lower the turrets. And then along came a new volunteer at the museum who happened to have uh, 3D printing capabilities at his home and also a lot of uh, experience uh, drafting and drawing in three dimensions. So uh, with that in hand, what we did is we were able to pass on the information, the, uh, the dimensional drawings and so on, to him of the actual pieces uh, from the authentic aircraft. We uh, got him to print up uh, in, in ABS plastic the bearing pieces that we were missing. Uh, from the get-go, we've always wanted to try to rebuild the turret in a fashion that if later on at some point in time somebody wanted to make the turret actually usable or or that it could swivel and and the guns could move up and down uh, that was our goal that's not our goal for the short term right now but certainly we didn't want to take any shortcuts if we didn't have to and and so we wanted actual bearings that would work uh, and the same goes for the, the bearings that make the the turret swivel on the aircraft we we made sure that we were able to re uh, restore all of those bearings and, and so that at some point in the future, if we wanted to, uh, or if we wanted to get creative, we could attach uh, either a hydraulic motor or an electric motor to the turret and, and make it actually spin around and, and the guns move up and down. <laughs> 